But like I said in my post earlier, in school, you just do pointless ass work, man. Like you gotta remember like dumb shit for no reason. But in the real world, when you go out and you study something and you spend your time researching and then you pull the trigger on it, the market will reward you, whether it's launching a business, the stock market, whatever. In the financial world, you're gonna get rewarded, right? So uh, that's why it's important to actually do your homework. You're gonna get money. There's money behind the homework. I'm not telling people to do homework for no, no damn reason, you know what I mean? So um, you see some people already came up that quickly. So this is how you spend your weekends, bro. Like I used to spend my weekends watching football and shit all the time, but now nah, I'm just on something else. I'm trying to get richer, you know? For me, man, I always felt like I've been lied to, right? Like I always felt like I've been lied to. Like when I was a kid, I see people driving nice cars, living in nice houses, and I'm like, they can't be much smarter than I'm gonna be one day. They can't work harder than I'm gonna work one day. So I always felt like entitled to it. You know, like, okay, one day I'm gonna have a nice car, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live in a nice house, and then when I have kids, they're gonna do the same thing. Cause I feel like no one like has more intelligence than I do. And if they do, then they just won't outwork me. It's just like simple as that. I always felt like I was lied to, man. I always felt like I was cheated. I should say that. I always felt like I was cheated because I grew up poor, you know, and I felt like, man, like, why can't we have a big house? Why can't we have fly cars? Why can't we, you know, go on vacations and shit like that? So then when you get into the real world and you see like everything you want is yours to take, you know, like nobody can control how long you're going to work, how hard you're going to work, how smart you're going to work. That's all up to you. It's all up to you. So if you don't get what you want, you got nobody else to blame. So now I'm an adult and, you know, like I've experienced the journey from, you know, being very poor, being extremely poor. Like, I remember, like, you know, when the food stop stamps for dollar bills, like, I remember that stuff. And now I'm up, you know, like, I'm a multi-millionaire now, you know, and I realize that there's a lot of things that I wanted in this life, and there's a lot of things that I don't want. I don't want to struggle, and I don't want to stress out about certain things. And then, like, I realize everybody else can follow the path, you know, and the path is very straightforward, and it's very, like, upfront. But you have to like avoid a lot of dumb shit. And sometimes the dumb shit is drinking all day or drinking every weekend or watching sports for, I don't know, 10 hours a damn day or playing video games all day long or chasing women all day. Like I realized if you avoid these things and you do something productive, like, okay, maybe you want to start a company. Maybe you want to invest in real estate. Maybe you want to get into the stock market. It's up to you. So I'm not one of these people that are against like fun. I'm not the fun police, you know, like I go out, I have fun. I, I hang out with my friends, I travel, I do all these things, but I realize like, man, sometimes you gotta put that shit on hold for a few months or maybe even for a few years so you can live like nobody else. You know, like you gotta live like nobody else so you can live like nobody else. So like this weekend I gave people homework, I sent out an email and I gave people homework and I said, yo, go find the stocks that are about to move. You know, like they cross their 28 moving average and they're about to move and go cross them, or sorry, go find them. And then uh, what happened was people went out and did it. And then this morning they bought those stocks or on Friday they bought those stocks and now they're moving. And you're like, see, you could do this every weekend. You could do it every weekend. You could find what's moving, buy it, sell it at a higher price. It's like nobody's stopping you, bro. Like nobody cares about how you grew up. When you go into the stock market, they don't care about what race you are or how you grew up or where you grew up. None of that shit matters. You buy for X price and you sell for X price, um, you know, at a higher price. That's it. It's very simple. All right, so notice I said it's simple. I didn't say it was easy. I said it was simple, right? It's very straightforward. So it's simple and easy are two different words. But um, yeah, man, it's very simple. It's a simple thing. You, it, it's like you have to do the same thing over and over and over and over every day until it works. You know, you want to tweak it. You want to run a, 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 a like a different iteration. But over and over and over again, you just trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. This is why this worked. This is why it didn't work. This is, it worked. I want to double down on it or it didn't work. I'm going to move away from that strategy. Whether you're selling a, a brand, products, a website, whatever. You get into real estate, selling courses, whatever you want to do, you know. So you can have a cooking show on YouTube. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you want to do. The money is all around you. All the way around you. See, I'm invested in Tesla. I'm invested in Nike. I'm invested in CVS, right? You see how it goes? Spotify. So you see, I see invest your money, right? There's money everywhere. There's money literally. That's a Starbucks, Del Taco. All these companies made me money this year, right? All right. But you gotta have money to invest, right? Like you, obviously you need money to invest into these companies, but you have to have money to invest. So where do you get money from? Your job, right? So think about how like easy and straightforward this is. 
Uh, you get money from your job, you take that money and you invest it. So you make money by working and then your money makes money for you, right? It's very simple, it's very straightforward, right? Where everybody goes wrong is when we get money, we like to go buy shit that doesn't grow for us, right? And we like to do that first. We like to prioritize buying shit over we over us prioritizing investing, right? So for some reason we want to spend all our money and then we want to look at the end of like the end of the pay period and be like, oh, I only got two hundred dollars to invest, but you just made like four thousand dollars in a month. You gotta invest the majority of that shit. And when you get money, of course you can't go invest at all because you got bills to pay. So you have to like cut your bills down and you have to earn more money right so this is how simple things unravel and become more complicated because we're humans we have things to pay for you gotta you know nothing is free so i'll tell people like yo get a roommate and they would be like i ain't about to get no roommate i'm grown man ain't about to get no roommate but like imagine instead of paying 1600 dollars a month you pay 1800 or you pay 800 dollars a month and you invest that other 800 what does that look like in three years what does that look like in two years and it grows 12 percent every year you see where I'm going? So you gotta cut your cost of living, right? At least for now. You have to increase your income and then you have to invest the difference. And you just have to repeat year after year after year after year. And it's not fucking exciting. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. This is not like you're gonna get rich tomorrow. This isn't get rich quick, but it's get rich for sure, you know? And so many people are gonna skip out on the get rich for sure because they're trying to get rich quick, right? So if they wake up every day and they say, oh, I'm not rich today. Oh, I'm not rich today. Oh, I'm not rich today. But every single day, think about it. If you're older than 25 years old, you've probably been working for seven years of it. And what do you have to account for it? You know, like if you've been putting your money away, good. But realize seven years is going to go by regardless. Whether you're stacking your money or not, whether you're investing your money or not, whether you're growing your income or not, seven years is going to go by regardless. So you might as well save your money, stack your money, invest your money, and be wealthier seven years from now. So you do your part, which is cutting the cost of living and increasing your income and then you hand your money to the smartest people in the world the smartest people in the entire world you give your money to them you're like hey bro go grow it for me you know like, you go give your money to these smart ass people these people go to like all these elite ass schools and you know what i mean like they go work for these companies to blow these companies up they want walmart to grow even bigger and be international and ibm and mcdonald's and starbucks like all these smart people work here I just get my money and they, they make it do what it do. And it's that like straightforward. So that means you gotta skip out on the instant gratification. You're not gonna be able to like drive whatever car you want. Like think about this, bro. Think about this. In America, credit fucks everyone up. If I have a decent job and I have two thousand dollars, I could walk into a car lot and buy a forty thousand dollar car. So imagine if you never had access to credit. Now I get it, you can leverage you know you can leverage and grow money too but imagine that like consumer like consumer debt imagine if i couldn't walk onto a car lot and buy a thirty-eight thousand dollar car when i only have two thousand dollars because i have a good credit score and this is the type of shit that keeps people stuck in the middle class because they pay thirty eight thousand dollars for a car they pay it off so five years go by boom they're still broke but they have a thirty eight thousand dollar car it's now worth like 15,000 and then they trade it in and do it again and do it again and do it again. They never save their money. Every time they get money, they just go give it to other people. They never keep their own money, right? It's fucking crazy. So, but credit allows this. People do the same thing with houses. Credit allows you to go be completely broke, just have a nice score and a decent job. You can be completely broke and you can just go off and trade all your money, trade all your, give all your money away for like stupid toys. So in my mind, it's completely common sense. If I have $10,000 and I need a car, my car's gonna cost three, $4,000, I'm gonna keep the other six to myself. I'm not gonna go out and spend $25,000 when I only have 10 grand because someone's gonna let me borrow money. That shit's stupid, right? So a lot of the things that we do to keep ourselves broke is this anti-common sense, right? And then like, it's because we wanna keep up and impress other people who are broke too. Like, this is anti-common sense. <clears throat> so. I don't know, it's crazy. People do the same shit with houses. They go buy a house and, oh, I'm gonna pay it off in 30 years. Like, bro, but the interest is gonna smack you every single time. And when they loan you money, they want their interest up front. So you're gonna, they're gonna front load all the interest. So whenever you stop making payments, they've already made their money off of you. And then they can turn around and take your house from you and sell it to somebody else and restart the whole cycle. It's anti-common sense. So stop doing everything that's anti-common sense. 
you go to the store and you want to buy something but you don't have the money for it don't swipe your credit card because you don't have the money for it like it makes sense right the next thing you know you got a credit card bill and the interest smacks you boom same thing with your car same thing with your house same thing with personal loans same thing with college it's all the same shit it's all the same shit like you got a thing man if buying cars and houses and taking out loans for this and that were the smartest things in the world, why don't the banks just go buy all the houses? Why wouldn't the banks go buy all the houses? If like a house was such a great investment, why wouldn't the banks go buy all the houses, right? They don't. What they do is they tell you to go do it and they give you the loan for it. And then they package up all the loans in your neighborhood. All those mortgages are packaged up and sold for such these great investments. The banks would do it themselves, but they don't. They tell you to do it. I'm not telling you to not buy a house, but I'm telling you, don't go overspend on the house just because you think in your mind it's an asset, right? Like you want to go buy the biggest house you could possibly find because somebody told you that that was a smart thing to do. It's not, man. Buy what you can afford. Buy cars you can afford. Buy houses you can afford shop at places you can afford and if you need to use credit you can't afford it just stay down till you come up all right y'all rant complete man oh wait the rant is not complete the fastest way for you to grow your income the fastest way for you to make a lot of money i'm talking about doubling tripling your salary is to start a business business is the fastest way to grow your wealth or sorry to grow your income right don't let anybody ever tell you anything different right you buy you get a taco made for 35 cents and you sell it for a dollar fifty and you repeat that a hundred thousand times in a year, right? Business is the way to go. This is why everybody works for a business. The business makes money and then they just pay you to do like little things, right? Business is the way to go. Don't let nobody tell you different. You don't gotta reinvent the wheel. You don't need to go like compete with Tesla or SpaceX, like, but you need to buy something and sell it or create something and sell it or provide a service for somebody. Business is the fastest way to grow your income. And if you don't believe me, Go look on the Forbes list. Go look up the wealthiest people in the world. And they all own businesses. All of them. And if they don't own the business themselves, guess what? They own the stock in the business. But they own so much of the stock that it makes them super wealthy. Because their dad started the damn business. Like the Waltons. Like the Walton family. The Sam Walton, the dude who made Walmart. All his kids are billionaires. All his kids and his grandchildren are billionaires because they own stock. He built it up. He made it a public company. He passed them off stock. I'm going to do the same shit with my kids. Whatever stocks I own, I'm going to pass it off to my kid. My kids are instantly millionaires. The moment I die, instantly millionaires. You would do the same thing. So everyone's not starting from zero. So the problem that we have in our community is everyone has to start from zero, right? So you go from zero to, let's say, Oh, no, scratch that. We'll say a, a hundred is you being a millionaire, right? Your parents go from zero to 10, zero to 20, and then they retire, or they die. And then you start all the way over back at zero, zero to 10, zero to 20, zero to 30, however far you get on your financial journey. And then when you die or you have children, they start all the way over at zero. Instead of it being, you go from zero to 40, your kids go from 40 to 65, their kids go from 65 to 100 their kids go from 100 to 125 so on and so forth right so it's we always have to start at zero because our parents don't pass us down things because they don't own things and the reason they don't own things is because they were too busy just fighting to survive right just staying alive and then taking whatever extra money they have and just buying things that eventually you know just completely depreciate so think about this. When you go to Walmart, when you go to Ulta, when you go to Target and you spend money, some family is getting in those companies, then they're getting wealthy without you, right? So it's easy for us to complain about how Jeff Bezos is the richest man in the world. But like, okay, if we know this dude's going to be a trillionaire, he has to be a trillionaire because Amazon stock has to go up, right? So if Amazon stock has to go up to make this dude a trillionaire, everyone's saying he's going to be a trillionaire in seven years. Okay, then I'm going to go give my money to Amazon. So when this nigga's net worth grows, so does mine, right? Anti-common sense, y'all. Rant complete, though. In those companies, then they're getting wealthy without you, right? So it's easy for us to complain about how Jeff Bezos is the richest man in the world. But like, okay, if we know this dude's going to be a trillionaire, he has to be a trillionaire because Amazon stock has to go up, right? So if Amazon stock has to go up to make this dude a trillionaire, everyone's saying he's going to be a trillionaire in seven years. Okay, then I'm going to go give my money to Amazon. So when this nigga's net worth grows, so does